I completed a, a site assessment on a property about three, four days ago. And when I walked in the door, the, the client said, uh, can you smell that? And I said, nope. And they said, well, a lot of times there's a real heavy odor in the air. And what is that? So I wanted to tell you about this story because the odors in a house, uh, uh, can or may not tell you what you're trying to find out. So the thing to remember about odor coming from mold is it's just like yeast, you know, part of the fungi family is mold and yeast and things. And there's, there's a couple of groups. So, um, anyway, when we deal with yeast and you put yeast in water and you're going to make some bread, that, that beautiful bready smell that you get, well, mold is the same way. Uh, A, it tells you that it's there and B, it tells you that there's enough moisture in the building or in the air to allow it to grow. And so the, the odor that you smell is part of the off gassing of growth. You can walk into houses that are dry as a bone. There's mold all over everything and there is no smell at all because it's all dormant. It's just hanging out for the next pulse of moisture. So some people get the impression that if you don't smell mold, you don't have a problem. And, and that's absolutely not true. Uh, some folks get a, an odor only after it rains or only after they do laundry or, you know, there's some cyclic event that, uh, you know, where they perceive the odor. On the day that I went to this house, I didn't smell anything. Um, and so chasing an odor is difficult. So I just kind of ignored the symptom and started using my eyes and, and going through it. And I ended up collecting some samples because I couldn't find anything. So I don't have the lab data back, but we'll see what it says.